Friends, Jordan and Alicia, along with Jordan's mum, were back at their holiday flat in Whitby this afternoon after the girls' ordeal last night. When they didn't return home for tea, Jordan's mum became extremely concerned. Started searching for them. Couldn't find them. We were looking in the arcades. Still couldn't find them. We heard a helicopter and never thought nothing of it. Uh, and a couple of hours later, police come to the door and Jordan and Alicia were with them. Can I ask you? Excuse me, we're on the side, like we're on with the beach, the main beach, and the tide's coming in really fast and we're stuck. Stuck on the beach at Whitby? Yeah. Where and the tide's coming in really fast. The girls had gone for a walk on the beach below the West Cliff and didn't notice the tide was rushing in. We weren't looking, like when other people were leaving, but when we turned around, nobody was there. And next thing, the tide had just came in and, um, like, the, we had to stand on the rocks and I said to Alicia, oh, take our socks and shoes off and we'll try and run round. Um, but as we went to go run round, the waves were already too high. So um, I said try and wave to get someone's attention and she went, I'm phoning 999. The sea was too rough and the girls were too close to the cliff for a lifeboat rescue. So first of all, a coast guard waded round to reach the girls and then they were winched to safety by rescue helicopter. I'm just glad I made it. We like, both made it off, and like, we've been thinking, like we're so glad that Alicia had a phone on her because I never had my phone. I left it here, but Alicia's phone was running out. But we were glad she had it. What was it like being airlifted like that? <laughs> Quite scary. Were you glad to get back on top of the cliff? Yeah. And being here today is good, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Rob Parkin was the coast guard who first reached the girls. They were cold. A uh, bit of shock, uh, quite panicky, but you know, when I explained to the girls, they calmed down and they did what they were told, they were, they were very good. But uh, if you ever come to the seaside, check the tide times, check the weather, um, let, them, let somebody know where you are. I'm very thankful that they saved our lives, yeah. and they, they, I'm really grateful for them because I honestly thought that was the end, and then they came around and saved us, and it was just the best thing to know that they could save us. And with Whitby once again filling up with visitors this weekend, the Coast Guard is warning holidaymakers to be on their guard when walking on the beach.